Hi! If you've already created animations with the Flip Fluids add-on, you may have asked yourself at some point how to make your scene feel more realistic. In fact, almost all examples you can find are missing one crucial detail, the wetness that fluid leaves behind on surfaces. While there are scenes where this isn't necessary, there are many others where rendering would benefit immensely from this subtle effect. And the good news, it's actually quite simple to add wetness. And that's exactly what I'll show you right now. To follow along, you'll need a finished scene and a completed Flip Fluids simulation. The simulation will then be turned into a dynamic paintbrush that can theoretically paint wetness on surfaces. However, a quick warning at this point, Blender tends to crash. And uh, if you try this with a very high resolution fluid mesh, that can happen. And in that case, your best option is plan B. Use the preview mesh of your flip fluid simulation instead. The surface that receives the wetness is called a dynamic paint canvas. And practically any object in your scene can become a canvas. Now you just need to decide how you want to store and use the paint of wetness. The method I recommend today is using an image sequence. The wetness effect is stored as a sequence of images. You simply hit bake and Blender generates the sequence. This sequence can then be used inside a shader network to blend between two different versions of your material. For example, the original one and a darker, glossier, wet version. Once you render the scene, that's it. Wetness done. So, the only question that remains is, why is this technique used so rarely? Type it into the comments. Thank you for watching and goodbye.